Now we're working very strongly with China on the coronavirus. That's uh, a new thing that a lot of people are talking about. Hopefully it won't be uh, as bad as some people think it could be. But we're wor working very closely with them and with a lot of other people in a lot of other countries. And we think we have it very well under control. Uh, and by the way, the virus, they're working hard. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. There's a theory that in April, when it gets warm, uh, historically, that has been able to kill the virus. So we're very, uh, very cognizant of everything going on. We have it very much under control in this country. A number that nobody heard of, that I heard of recently, and I was shocked to hear it, 35,000 people on average die each year from the flu. Did anyone know that? 35,000. That's a lot of people. It could go to 100,000. It could be 27,000. They say usually a minimum of 27 goes up to 100,000 people a year die. And so far, we have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. Nobody. And it doesn't mean we won't. And we are totally prepared. It doesn't mean we won't. But think of it. You hear 35 and 40,000 people, and we've lost nobody. And you wonder, the press is in hysteria mode. Everything's really under control. We had a great meeting today with a lot of the great companies, and uh, they're going to have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. And they're going to have something that makes you better, and that's going to actually take place, we think, even sooner. Are you concerned that the virus is getting closer to the White House? No, I'm not concerned at all. No, 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 we've got to be a the, the virus will not have a chance against us. No nation is more prepared or more resilient than the United States. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. We'd much rather be ahead of the curve than behind it, and that's what we are. Are there things you regret in the way you handled the crisis so far? Are there words you regret? I don't think so. You know, I, I'm looking forward. I don't look back. I, I guess there's always something everybody regrets. There are things in your life you regret. We all regret things, but I really like to look forward. I'm a, a person that looks uh, a forward thinker, I guess they would say. Um, no, I, I think that we've handled it really well. We did that early, far earlier than anyone would have thought. But we see light at the end of the tunnel. Things are happening. Things are happening. We're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll be uh, very proud of the job we all did.